Huh. I guess the audio's on, video's on, everything's on. Um. Welcome to the uh, Friday edition. The Friday edition. Actually, no. This is this is Thursday, but it's also going to be my Friday. It's uh, 8 p.m. at night. Of course, if you say p.m. I guess you don't need to say at night, because <laughs> at night and p.m. are actually the same thing. But uh, I am now getting ready to go off to my job <laughs> to combat the evils of darkness. Well, the unsuspecting public sleeps. I, uh, watch what's going on in both arenas. sort of question everything always have probably always will but it's like a lot of people would basically watch mainstream news you know ABC NBC Fox News all this that they a lot of people I guess I'm thinking at least 90% maybe less, maybe more, I don't know, watch that news. You flip on the TV or turn on the radio and that's the news you go by. There are a few, even though the media that I kind of watch also on, uh, uh, internet and stuff the news there they say their audience is bigger than that of uh, TV and radio that I kind of question it's like because everybody's watching TV and everybody's got the radio on of course, I suppose today, maybe I'm still a little bit behind on times with everybody with their smartphones and all this hoobla. I suppose maybe uh, the internet media is the uh, most watched media. Depending on, you know, but I, I'm talking about the ones that's not your basic NBC, ABC, the ones running the country that are owned and well, who own and operate our government. But, uh, you watch mainstream media, and they say how Clinton is in so much of a lead. Oh, might as well forgive it up. She's already won. Trump is leaving, he's not even going to try, he's done, etc. But then I watch the internet news, and it's, Trump is so far ahead, and he's got Hillary and them all so scared because they know they're going to lose. They don't know what to do. But then on the other hand, uh, mainstream media, if you pay attention and listen to what they're saying, laugh and giggle at 
and actually say, but you got to pay attention and listen to them. I actually tell you, they're going to rig the votes and Hillary's going to win and that's that. Ha ha ha, whatever goes on, they don't care. Because <laughs> Hillary, point blank, is going to win because that's who they want in. And no matter how they have to cheat or lie or whatever, that's what's going to happen. But then, internet news is they write up flat out and tell you. Did you hear what they said? And they show you the reports and explain it because in case you didn't pay attention. Yeah, they're going to rig it. <laughs> the thing's going to be rigged and they're going to win and that's that. But then I watched news from other countries. And it seems to me that the news from other countries seem to back the internet news, not the mainstream media. But I still, it still puzzles me, okay, which one's doing all the lying and which one's not? Which one's telling half truths and which one's not? Huh. I really don't know. I mean, unless I see it myself, or any one person sees it themselves, how does one know anything? So I'm in a toss up, wondering, well, who's lying and who's not? Who's ahead of the polls and who's not? cars are flying so I better just sit right here but uh, I don't know I just thought I'd do some sort of little video because me and Keith don't get out and do videos anymore so I thought I'd do a video Okay, I'm going to pull over over here before I hit the interstate and uh, turn my camera off and then turn it back on then also turn on my music so I have something to listen to on my way to work to fight crime and the wicked nightness to keep you people alive and safe. Okay. Catch y'all later. Bye.